Welcome to this lesson on science after grade 10. In other words, what are you going to do after you get your grade 10 science credit? And a lot of kids or some kids might wish that this was the end of the line, but in fact, you must get one grade 11 science credit. And so I'm just gonna go over some of your options and why you might choose what you're going to do. If you are working currently in the academic stream, which um, is possible, or you would like to, then you're over here on this side in, in the yellow. I'm gonna use yellow for the academic stream, okay? And in this particular case, um, you're going to, well, I'm not sure why it's uh, highlighting in different places, but uh, it is. Um, so yeah, uh, academic stream here, and then you have the option to take one of four courses in grade 11, okay? One of them is being environmental science, and it's a mixed level environmental science course. So it's not considered university, it's considered a mixed level course. And then you have another option here, of course, of going into taking just a straight biology course. It will be at the university level. And then you have the option of going into chemistry, also at the university level. And then of course, the last option would be physics. Now. Physics is uh, a lot about the rules, a little more mathematical. Chemistry is looking more at chemical reactions and breaking them down, balancing chemical reactions, starting to look into some of the more details of chemistry. Biology, you tend to look at uh, ecosystems and uh, genetics and stuff like that in grade 11 biology. It's a somewhat interesting course. Okay, The same topics are generally covered in the college level, just to a slightly different uh, direction. Okay, so physics would be more your math and stuff. You start looking at equations associated with it. Chemistry, again, into chemical reactions and more depth there. And then ecology and, and some uh, genetics in the biology. And of course, there's this new course that crops up uh, more recently called environmental science. And uh, here it's a mixed level. And at the grade 11 course, it is considered a workplace level. And if science is not your thing and you're looking, I just want to get the heck out of here. I want to get my credit. This is often the path that kids take. They take grade 9 and 10 applied, and then they jump right back into grade 11 workplace. And it's a pretty straightforward path. So what you really have to do is think about what you want in your future, what kind of job you want to do. If you're thinking about maybe becoming a vet tech or something like that, you might want to make sure you take at least some biology and some chemistry. If you're thinking about nursing, those are kind of important. If you're thinking about becoming a tradesperson, you might want to take the physics because it'll help build some of your math skills in a practical setting, kind of a more practical environment, and uh, it definitely won't hurt you, okay? But if, you know, I don't want to do any of this stuff for sure, this is out of my league, you know, the, the way to go is just take the environmental science in the workplace level, okay? You are technically allowed to take the mixed level if you wanted to from the applied, but I don't recommend it. I think it would be better to take the workplace um, in that side. Once you get to grade 12, you'll notice that the same course is dropped for biochem and physics, but there is no grade 12 environmental science. It just uh, it ends at the end of grade 11. And just for those of you wondering, what the heck is environmental science? Well, it's the study of the human human's impact, how human beings are impacting our uh, world and how we are changing things and the kind of things we're going to do. So a lot of stuff on, you know, some stuff on global warming and the carbon cycle and stuff on the water cycle and how we're polluting waterways and stuff. But there's some pretty interesting topics and a lot of kids really do kind of enjoy this. Uh, I've had some uh, and, uh, education assistants say to me that every kid should really be required to take an environmental science course, but there's just enough room for kids to take all these things. So these are your options that are available to you. You think about it, what do you wanna do for grade 11? Remember, you really have three primary options, environmental science, biology, chemistry, or physics, uh, which is basically a conglomerate of what we do in grade nine and 10 together. All right, I hope you like that. I hope it gives you some sense of what to, to look for. You can talk to your guidance counselors about it when you select your courses later this year for grade 11. And, uh, you know, good luck uh, uh, with your science career as you move forward.